Welcome back to another player build, y'all. Today we have notable St. Louis Blues centerman, now Nashville Predator centerman, Ryan O'Reilly. And real quick before we get into game one, all I ask if you are enjoying the series, drop a quick sub with notice on so you don't miss your favorite player in the future. Let's hop right into game one for y'all. Let's get into it. Here we go, boys. Hopping into game one with the Ryan O'Reilly build. And I am super freaking excited to bring one, this one to y'all because it's a different type of forward build than I normally bring to y'all. Now, that's O'Reilly built. A lot of the forward builds, I feel like, you know, they just been like snipers or danglers or something. But this O'Reilly build, I'm not going to spoil it and tell y'all what it is. But all I'm saying is it's not the usual that pretty much 99.9% .9 of the forward builds that I bring y'all are. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, too far. My fault, bud. That's me. Yup. It's also me. Bang, what a pass, O'Reilly. You know O'Reilly battles for that puck and makes an absolutely gorgeous pass to Spud for the 1T. Oh, that's a good play by them. Now, for the O'Reilly build, obviously, since he is one of the best centers in the league face-off-wise, we absolutely have to give him a face-off challenge. Oh, my gosh. This challenge definitely isn't going to be make or break like y'all are going to see the gameplay or aren't going to see the gameplay if we do or do don't complete the challenge. But... We are going to have to try and win 60% of our face-offs on this Ryan O'Reilly build. But I am unfortunately not the best at face-offs. I'm so sorry, Seymour. I thought he was going to slide. Let's go, baby. I was trying to shoot that short side anyway. That works. That works. Come on, we out. Oh, good play. Ew. Okay, spy. Okay, kid. Good play, boy. Now, for the P shot, I don't care if the goalie saves this. He's not going to, though, because we're definitely going backhand. Oh, yeah, that backhand beauty is OP. What a hattie. What a backhand beauty. Here we go. Hopping into the second period, fellas. We're starting off with a three-goal lead. Let's see if we cannot be like Ryan O'Reilly's former team, because now he's actually part of the Nashville Predators. Let me know what y'all think he's going to be able to do on that squad. If the Preds are going to be good this year, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Because I'm going to be real, in my opinion, I don't know. I honestly feel very good about the Preds, but every time I make some kind of prediction, it always ends up being wrong, and I just got absolutely smoked by a dude with truculence with no stamina. Congratulations, you played yourself. So that was just asking to be injured. Oh my god, I thought I thought 2K was going to somehow make a save there. That's actually a good play by them, though. Oh. It's all right, we can lay down a body too, boy. Oh, man. We choked like the leaves, fellas. I, Jesus, you just can't write it any better than that. You know what, though? No, we're not accepting the choke because you know what? Ryan O'Reilly didn't accept it. He went to the Preds, so we can't accept that shit. We got to get this W right now. And Spud says he's not taking that shit either. Okay, maybe he is. Maybe he's taking it just a little bit. What do you mean by that? Oh, man, we are choking so bad right now, boys. What are we doing? All right, come on. He tripped me on that. Do we try and go backhand again here? No, we do not because he tried to fly and poke, and I saw that at the last second. I can't even lie, boys. Nice. Defense. Come on. Oh, my gosh. And that one, of course... Let's go. O'Reilly will not stop battling, boys. Here's goal number seven that we score with the Ryan O'Reilly build. My footage, unfortunately, skipped out a little bit here, but I luckily was able to notice so I can go gr back and grab this goal from the action tracker. Y'all see absolutely nasty move on the truculence defender. Just slide right by him. 
you know we absolutely roofing a backhand with the ryan o'reilly build as well i think my footage got corrupted for my last goal so i will have to go back and show y'all goal number seven once again your trash kid come on boys let's just close this out we've had leads about 47 times in this game but we're looking like we're on the maple leafs but guess what we're no longer on the maple leafs ryan o'reilly is a nashville predator now he is not with those choke artists toronto maple leafs no more and i tripped him as i'm literally sitting there talking shit on the maple leafs nice nice come on 2k make this save here kid one more big save out of you here oh 2k you are so freaking handsome hey yo what the fuck that's an easy win and honestly i have not been paying very much attention to this face-off count whatsoever but i'm really hoping that we still manage to complete the challenge as well like i said it's not make or break because i really am not good on face-offs whatsoever but holy where is that goalie going that's goal number eight for ryan o'reilly now i'm gonna be honest boys i literally went in to check and see how many face-offs we won and what our face-off percentage was and this is the screen that i was hit with as you see the playoff summary i hit circle my screen is completely frozen i cannot do anything i will literally have to close that before i even get into game two for y'all and everything so unfortunately i cannot check but i'm almost positive that we did beat this dude in face offs but real quick let's just hop right into game two not waste any of y'all time and we will be able to hopefully get the face off percentages after game two as long as ea doesn't want to screw us out of that one as well Let's get right into it here we go boys hopping into game two and i am super super sorry i don't know why my pc sometimes i think it's when i don't have enough room when i go to record like the second game or the first game or something and my pc kind of just like starts glitching at some points and and getting like overused when it's recording and there's not enough storage so i'm super super sorry for that but hopefully we're able to make it up for y'all we make a good defensive play and the puck still ends up in the back of the net for them go 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 y'all are out give that guy your map Y'all are out. Whoa, goalie did just, he say here, y'all can have that goal. I'm gonna literally just gift it to y'all. All right, boys, just like that, we got a fresh game all over again, and the challenge still stands. Even though we couldn't see our player summary at the end of that first game, I think we might have completed the challenge. If not, we were definitely close. I think I definitely beat that guy in face-offs Ew, what a nasty goal. I just don't know if it was necessarily 60%. Look at that elite ball placement. Uh, that's a elite ball. That's a elite oh. ball placement. Okay, good play. I still got an assist on that. Honestly, I was a little confused what happened at the air, at the end there, but good play, fellas. Ah, uh, oh, good, good lift. Oh, what a play by Seymour. Hopping in the second period, fellas, and I think I'm just going to have to start tying up. I don't know if it's the ping. I don't know if it's me mistiming it or what it is, but I am just losing so many face-offs. And if I want to even have a chance at that 60% challenge, uh, yeah, I need to step it the hell up. Get it out, get it out. What a play. What a play. Come on. No. No. Yes. Let's go, Spud. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, we need to finish that. No. Shoot, please. Oh, good try. Oh, my gosh. How does Spud not receive that pass? Jeez, boys, we must have had 170 million opportunities and not one of them went in the net this period. Take that if you can. Ah, uh, he's passing. Ah, uh, that's a good play. Damn, 2K's been making a lot of big saves on those. Come on. Go, Spud. Ew, okay, hit him with a little skirt. 
And we got we got the assist on that because we got the tie up. I told y'all we gotta do what we gotta do to win these face offs, boys. All right, here we go, boys. Once again, hopping into the third period with a three goal lead, much like last time. We ended up. I don't remember if we choked it actually or not last time, but hopefully we don't end up choking it this time. Hopefully we can close this shit out because, like I said before. Ryan O'Reilly is not a part of the Leafs. He's a changed man. He's a Nashville Predator. He no longer knows all that choking bullshit. Just kidding, because that was actually lucky as hell. I totally forgot to say this at the end of the first game, too. We literally had eight goals with this O'Reilly build. So I know that the footage may have corrupted a little bit, but I mean... Can you really say much more than eight goals? This game, we're having more of the assists. Y'all know that Ryan O'Reilly is probably one of the best all-around centers in the league. So, I mean, what more can we show y'all, boys? Ghost, bud. Ghost, bud. Ew, what a pass. Finally, we got that one-timer to go to with Ryan O'Reilly. I am so sorry, boys. We unfortunately, as you see right there, only ended up with a 46.7 face-off percentage in game two. That guy honestly had my number on the face-offs until I started tying up. So shout out to that guy because he was absolutely whooping me. But they did end up leaving. We were up 7-3. Ryan O'Reilly had an absolutely nasty one-timer goal. And they did end up leaving on that. Ryan O'Reilly ended up finishing with two goals, four assists, six out of seven of our points. We did fail the challenge, but I genuinely do think that we did complete it in that first game. I'm really sorry once again about the footage getting corrupted. I'm sure I'm sorry that these dudes didn't end up making it through the whole second game. So this one may end up being a little bit of a shorter video. But like I said, eight goals, four assists in this second one. I mean, what more can we really say about this O'Reilly build besides the fact that you also saw his defense? He is an absolutely nasty all-around player. And if you are good at faceoffs, I promise y'all this build will be super good for you. Let's get right into how to make it for y'all. Now, in terms of recreating NHL players in ESHL, I feel like this Ryan O'Reilly build is probably one of the most accurate builds to the actual player, at least attribute wise. Most of the time, their play style is pretty much the exact same. That's what I, that's what I go for most of the time with these builds. But this O'Reilly build, I absolutely love the attributes on it. So let me just show you how to make it. We did, of course, make the archetype a two way forward. We were able to go with his actual height and weight, which is good. I feel like we haven't been able to do that for a player in a while, which is six foot one, 207 pounds. He is, of course, a left handed shooter and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always. So first for your technique attributes, this is gonna be a little bit weird and way different than what we normally do, but you wanna add one to everything besides agility. And the reason for this is because I feel like most of these attributes were good. O'Reilly isn't a super fast skater, so we didn't have to max out his speed. He does have a pretty good shot, but we couldn't really max out his shot without tanking anything else. And I didn't want to tank his balance or tank his speed. He's already slow enough, so I didn't want to lower his speed even more. So I felt like adding one to all of those was pretty solid for him. Then we, of course, did have to take five off agility, unfortunately. Ryan O'Reilly is a decently agile skater, but with the technique attributes, we had to sacrifice something in that category, and agility, unfortunately, was the one we had to sacrifice. Next for your power attributes, all you want to do is add four to your wrist shot power, then add three to both slap shot power and puck control, take five off your acceleration, and four off your endurance. After that, for your play style attributes, all you wanna do is add five to passing, as of course, Ryan O'Reilly is an absolutely incredible passer and playmaker. You wanna add one to defensive awareness, take four off your stick checking as ryan o'reilly is a pretty good defender which is why we also upped his defense awareness and made him a two-way forward but stick checking i feel like isn't really a super important attribute as long as you're smart with your poke checks and stickless you will be perfectly fine this attribute will not matter i promise y'all then just take three off your offensive awareness as well for your tenacity attributes all you want to do is add three to hand eye two to your strength then take five off shot blocking 
and four off your durability for your last attributes your tactics attributes all you want to do is of course we need to give the best centerman in the league plus five to his face off i am of course talking about specifically face off wise he is one of the top centermen in the league there's no debating that maybe if not the best centerman in the league at face offs then you just want to take five off your fighting and three off your discipline as well now going back to abilities for o'reilly's zone ability i'm going to be completely honest i think there was one that really stood out out of all these abilities you could have maybe justified using a couple of these but i feel like there was one that really stood above all in terms of representing ryan o'reilly and that is the zone ability no contest and this is simply because ryan o'reilly is an absolute grinder when he plays when he plays if he's on the ice he is fighting for the puck he's battling for every single loose puck his actual absolute hardest from start to end of game it does not matter ryan o'reilly's always fighting for that puck and nine times out of ten he's coming up with it now for o'reilly's superstar abilities for his first one of course we wanted to show off his incredible playmaking once again so we did of course give him tape to tape for his first one then for his second one i really debated between two of them i debated between close quarters to show off his incredible wrister or beauty backhand to show off his incredible backhand and i felt like i wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit ryan o'reilly also really does have an absolutely incredible backhand shot so that's what we decided to go with but of course if you decided to go with close quarters it is completely justifiable and accurate to ryan o'reilly as well and finally for o'reilly's boost for his first one even though he's not a fan skater by any means i still wanted to give him at least like that 86 speed felt like a really good range for him so we did give him power skating of course then for his second one we did decide to give him control deking and the reason for this is because while we have this one look at all of these attributes this is a very very well-rounded build both offensively and defensively which is absolutely incredible for ryan o'reilly because i feel like that's really what he is as a player he's super well-rounded and sound both offensively and defensively in pretty much every aspect and i really feel like this build hammers that point home which is why i said this is probably one of if not the most accurate builds from build to player that we've done so far this year and that is how we recreated ryan o'reilly right here in eashl if you did enjoy the video and you are enjoying the series please feel free to drop a like comment any other players you want to see me recreate in the shl down below and sub with noties on so you don't miss your favorite player in the future i appreciate you boys watching i'll see you in the next one peace